I haven't gone thrift store Funko Pop hunting in a while, so today, that's what we're doing! And now the first place I always like to come is the toy section, because this is where you'll find most of the figures, and the first thing that I found, guys, was actually this one here. I believe it's somebody from Game of Thrones, and they're charging, what was it on the back here, $7.99? Yeah, we might as well go for it. And now digging around a little bit more, that seems to be the only one that they've got, but something that I did notice that was kind of interesting was like this plush Wampa, and then over here, they actually had a sealed Mr. Incredible from the second movie. Oh, and then down here, I saw this. It was like the spider bug and then they also had another one somewhere else too. Yeah, way down at the end here. And I thought they might have the Funko Pop one because of it, but I don't see it anywhere. Then the other spot I always like to check is the bags because sometimes they'll have like Funko plush or just pops in general, like the smaller pocket pops and stuff like that. But for today, I'm not seeing much in here. It might just be the one. Now this is gonna sound crazy. Remember how I was looking at all of these Spider-Man stuff for the bobblehead Spider-Man in Spider-Buggy? Well, when I went up to the cash, they actually had one behind the counter and for only $4.99, so not too shabby. Oh, and I did also end up grabbing the one from Game of Thrones, and we'll do a little bit more research on these when we get back to the office, but before we do that, let's go into our second value village of the day. And now I think let's start by taking a look in the bags, and the first thing I found was actually this bag of Pez, and I don't think I'm gonna be getting it, it's just the frozen ones. Actually, now that I think about it, I might already have the Olaf. And now let's start by taking a look in the bags. And honestly, I'm not seeing much yet, but one thing I did find was this right here, guys. The Elsa Pocket Pop inside of here. And for $4, there's a lot of other random stuff. I'm not gonna grab it, but it is still neat to see. Now, I've already done some digging on the bigger wall of loose toys, and I ran into three things here that I wanted to show you guys, but I'm not gonna be picking up, because they're just kind of random. We've got this Doodle Jump character, as well as Aladdin from Disney Infinity, and then this Lego Minecraft set, which I would pick up, but the problem is it's only I found it like a chewed piece of gum inside. We're gonna be skipping on this thing. I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of all value villaged out, so now I'm over at the outlet mall to see what Hot Topics got. Okay, now I gotta say guys, there is a lot of new figures here, and I'm gonna try to go through everything the best I possibly can, like this one up here, guys. The pop albums from Mariah Carey's uh, Merry Christmas? Is that what the album's called? I don't know, but either way, it's way too early to be talking about Christmas stuff, and actually, now that I say that, though, we've also got the Gingerbread Batman. Also, do you guys hear what's playing? Is that, is that Baby No Money? Anyways, if you guys want to take a look at this one here, it is the Diamond Edition Gingerbread, probably my favorite one from the set. Then just to the left of Batman, they do have the Blacklight Zero and the 90s Coca-Cola Polar Bear, which I am 1,000% going to be getting. And look at the sunglasses on this thing. It's pretty funny. Now, it also looks like they got in some of the new Black Panther Wakanda Forever figures with the Shuri and Sunbird as well as Atuma. And these are two that I did pick up in yesterday's video if you guys want to check those out. And then also to the right of them, it looks like they've got some sodas here. We've got the Jack Skellington, and I don't have this one. I remember I got the Hot Topic exclusive but never the normal one, so maybe, just maybe, I'll pick up a couple today. Oh, and then right below that, guys, they got in the Kiba with Akamaru, one that my brother needs for his Naruto collection. I gotta get this. And then keeping it on the anime theme, it looks like they also have the Super Saiyan Goku with Kamehame. I never know how to pronounce that. I apologize. Call me your mama. And uh, this is the Diamond Edition version. Pretty nice. Then as we keep going here, guys, we've got some of the Class 1B exclusives. Actually, a bunch of My Hero ones. And then at the end here, one from Fairy Tail, and I believe this is the newer wave. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, and then check this out, guys. They got in Cyrax, the one from House of the Dragon. And this is one that I was debating on getting because I've never seen the show, but I do really love the dragon figures. I don't know. I'm debating on this one. And then as we keep going over, it looks like they've got some of the snowman ones with R2-D2 as well as Boba Fett back there and the flocked blues clues. Now, this one, I gotta let you guys know, I know I have the normal one, but I'm... I, I don't know if I have the flocked one. I might grab one of these just in case because it's always good to have a second Blue's Clues. Like, this is seriously a problem. I don't have my Funko app updated, so I'm not exactly sure. Do I pick one up just in case? I think this one here is $17.90. Maybe I do. And then if I already have this one, we could give it away in the future. Yeah, we'll probably just do that. Now, I thought that was going to be it, but then I came over to the plush and check out all of the ones that they've got, like the tie-dye ones over here. And I believe this one, wasn't there an exclusive or something like that? Is to, oh... Am I missing this one? I don't know anymore. I remember that I wasn't able to get all of them and I think I was missing the Freddy. I don't know, I'm debating on getting one or two of these today because they do have a bunch of the AR ones as well as Foxy and then this one here, who? Who the heck is this? If somebody knows, please put it in the comment section below. And I just found out all of these are Hot Topic exclusive, so I'm definitely gonna have to get a few. So I did a little bit of research on my thrift store finds, and what I found out was kind of interesting. This guy here, his name is Grey Worm from Game of Thrones. I got him for $7.99, and he's worth $17 in box, so that's something. And if you guys are curious what year this released, it was back in 2015, so a good while ago. And now when it comes to this one here, the Spider-Mobile, it's a little bit odd, because they actually charge less for this one than they did 
Renegade Grey Worm, and maybe it's because they didn't know it was a Funko Pop? I'm not sure. And that is, of course, in box. And also, this one here is normally exclusive to Walgreens, so I have no clue how this got in Canada, because there are no Walgreens here. Like, maybe it was shared with someone, and also, we are pretty close to the border, so maybe somebody went over, found it at one point, brought it to Canada, didn't want it anymore, then donated it? Something like that. So, definitely some interesting stuff, and now, let's get into what I got over at Hot Topic, and I guess we'll start with the one that I picked up for Noah, which is Kiba with Akamaru, one that I, again, don't know much about when it comes to the Naruto figures, but I do think it does look really nice. I keep talking about this. If you guys have been watching my videos for probably about the last week now, you would know that I've actually been trying to get the entire set for my brother Noah, and this is the one that I wanted pretty much the most out of all of them, and now, looking at the common ones on the back, the only figure we're missing is Might Guy. And of course, there are some exclusives to go along with this set, but I haven't seen any of those yet. And then, of course, I ended up picking up some figures for myself as well. So I got the Diamond Edition Gingerbread Batman. Then I also got, ooh, one of my favorites, the 90s Coca-Cola Polar Bear. Then the Flocked Blues Clues. Yeah, I ended up getting it. Oh, and you know what? Now that I say that, I don't know if I have... Oh, I can see the Flocked Blues clues from here. Yeah, whatever. And so I guess this one's going to be given away to you guys, and it's not going to be today. I've actually been thinking about a really cool way to do a bunch of giveaways at once, so stay tuned. And now I guess we can still take a look at the Blues Clues figure because I haven't talked about it in a while. It is the Flocked version, and what I really like about it is that the eyes and the nose aren't Flocked, and I really am enjoying the paw and how you can see her print. Also, I don't know if you guys have seen, but there is a brand new Blues Clues figure coming out for New York Comic Con, so while I'm there, I am definitely going to be trying to get it, and it's Steve with his notepad and pencil. I need to get that. And now taking a look at the 90s Coca-Cola Polar Bear, I think one of my favorite things about it is the sunglasses, and I also really enjoy how he's holding a bottle of Coca-Cola. And then, when you take a look on the back of the box, there's a pretty funny image, the one with the actual glasses. Like, who approved this? Like, maybe the glasses were in in the 90s? I'm not exactly sure, but they do look kind of crazy. Oh, and for anybody curious, I did pre-order the flocked version off of Amazon. And then, of course, guys, the Diamond Gingerbread Batman, and this one is pretty cool, and I do also want to get the normal one eventually because don't get me wrong I do like the diamond but I hate keeping them out of the box because I always feel like the glitter's gonna come off or maybe I'm gonna drop it and then it's gonna get dinged up so I will be getting the normal one as well to have in the collection oh I forgot that these ones don't bobble I was thinking they were Marvel ones and I don't mean that I thought that Batman was Marvel I'm just saying that the only ones that they had done before this were the Marvel ones where they did bobble so it just feels a little bit weird when they don't also, I do want to mention that my favorite part about these figures is the way that they look almost handmade, where it looks like you could have actually piped the edges on this one. It's really well done. And no, that's not all, guys, because I did end up getting a couple of the Five Nights at Freddy's plush, the AR Freddy, as well as AR Chica. I was going to pick up more of them, but they had so many, I figured I would just pick up the two that I liked the most. And if you guys want to check them out, here they are next to each other. I really do enjoy the Chica, and especially this kind of, like, teal color, and how it's got the high score in the middle. And then for Freddy, he's got a VR headset set on, which definitely looks weird. And it's too bad because they never actually made normal size pops for these guys. They made action figures as well as pocket pops, but that's about it. So Funko, if you're watching, I would love to see normal size figures for these guys. Please make them eventually. And then I know I didn't show you this in the store, but I did end up grabbing two of the Boo Hollow Paka Pacas. And now because I don't open these up too often, for anybody wondering, this is actually a mystery blind ball, I guess you could say. It's not a blind box where they have different sets and then you get little figures inside, very similar to mystery minis, but these ones here are their own Funko created characters. And so let's start with this one here and find out what we got. Ooh, we got the coffin. Okay, now this one's pretty cute. And these are all done by Reese O'Brien, who is a designer over at Funko. I love a lot of his work. And if you guys want to find out what this one's name is, I'm going to say something like, well, it's got to do something to do with a coffin. It is Creek. Oh, that's a good one. And if you guys are curious about the rarity, it is one in 18. Now this next one here felt a lot heavier than Creek. So I'm thinking maybe it's going to be one of the slime issues ones. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, what a good one. So this one is another one in 18. I think this might be Phineas wearing like a skateboard helmet and stuff. It might be. Anyways, if you guys want to check him out, I'll check his name in a second. But yeah, that is definitely a cute one. And is it Phineas? It is. Yes, it is Phineas with a tombstone skateboard. So I don't know, guys, just some fun stuff for Halloween because it is October now. I thought we might as well open up a couple. And then, of course, everybody, I did end up picking up two sodas. And the ones that we got today were the Blacklight Jack Skellington. 
And so I guess let's just get into the first one. And I did check my collection. I don't have any of the normal one. I did pick up some of the Hot Topic exclusive a little while ago, where he's got the snake going through his face. But this one, I have none of them. And so I guess for this one here, it doesn't really matter what I get. Even though it would be nice to get that chase, I don't really care. And so here we go, everybody. Let's find out if we got that chase. I mean, guys, that was so easy. First one, I, 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 come on, you can't write this stuff. And I gotta say, this Jack looks amazing. Like, seriously, it is really, really well done. And I don't know if this one glows or maybe it's just black light in general. This one here, you found the chase, Jack Skellington with green glow face, limited to one out of 2,000. So yeah, it does glow. And so now everybody, let's see if we get the common on this one, which would be perfect. That way I don't have to buy any more of these guys. And so here we go. All right, let's get into this and find out if this is the normal Jack Skellington. Ah, ha, 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 it is. And so it looks like with the two of them, the only difference is the colors. And anyways, we'll see you guys tomorrow.